All right, let's make a real quick uh, make a quick design for uh, basketball. Okay, so we're going to come up here, uh, and my goal is really to not come into this. I don't come into these design sessions with premeditated ideas. Okay, I'm actually coming into these things um, with the idea that I'm just going to make something up um, because I want you to see that that design work really doesn't have to be super complex. You don't need a degree. Um, if you just stick to a handful of rules, uh, it's actually pretty easy. So let's zoom in here. We're going to convert this over into... Um, let's make this into a just a, a basketball design. So I'm going to convert this over to a Camus High School basketball design. Um, and we're going to throw Joe Papermaker's head up here. Because I just like throwing Joe's head all over the place. Okay, So we're going to throw the word Camus across here. Maybe make this a touch bigger. Okay, It looks like it's kind of off-center. So I'm going to click on here and then go snap to center. Okay, um, we're going to come down here and in place of tigers, we're going to put paper makers. Okay, which, okay, so I doubled the length of the word, which makes it a little bit tighter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it just a tad shorter and call that good. Okay, now it looks like I need a little bit more spacing, so I'm going to use, I'm going to click off. Because if, if I click and I leave my cursor active over here and I start moving, I start using my uh, my keypad, it will think that I'm trying to move the cursor around. So I have to click off. Then I can click this and then I can push my, cur my, uh, my little arrow keys and move it around so that I know that it's staying perfectly centered. Okay? So this down here... I want to grab all of this. You just need to catch some of it in the lasso here. Okay. And then you can move it down as a group. Okay. So let's come down over here. Oh, I still got that. The time. I generally put a mascot over the top of another mascot to make sure that I capture the right size. Because if I delete it and then I go grab a mascot and then I come back, uh, sometimes me, I forget just the size of the mascot and what made it look cool in the first place. So get rid of that. So now I can see that maybe I need to move Joe's head down just a tiny bit. Okay. So from here, I'm going to come scroll down into athletic wire and I'm just going to go with, let's, uh, let's make this basketball. Okay. And we've got a basketball design. Okay. These are not, uh, camas colors. Okay. So, I got one or two options. I can either come up here and I can change this to scarlet and then do these one at a time, or I can come through and grab everything and turn it all at the same time. Okay. Now, I don't know what 1898 is. Maybe that's like a, uh, a high school that is really, really, really old. Um, maybe that number means something else entirely. I'm not sure, but there we go. Pretty decent design and done very quickly, okay? We're gonna go do another one, okay? Let's go do, um, let's go do an, a soccer design. Let's do one that's actually, a lot of the time I will come through and I'll show you how easy it is to go from a soccer design to say basketball to, you know, another sport or whatever. Um, anything with a round ball. Soccer has a ton of designs in here. Uh, and so I generally tend to do that sort of thing, right? So let's take a look in here. This will pop in in just a second. All right. So what I will do is zoom out, select all, move this up, scale it down just a little bit, use my keypad to get it up and keep it centered because it's easier to do that with my keypad than to do it with my mouse. Then I zoom in. Okay. So here, we're going to start out with, let's change the year. And we're going to leave the ball 
we're going to change this to whoops paper makers okay um, we're going to leave the word soccer we're going to change the word state into camus okay figure out which one of these is for state there um, whoops this in all caps and then Camus, Papermaker, Soccer. Okay, so um, if you want to do some sort of a, uh, a slogan or something across the top, maybe that's what you have in here. Um, work hard, play hard, I don't know, something like that. Okay, so in just a matter of a few seconds, we made a Camus one. So same thing. You've got your dominant color, right? And then you have your accent color, which with with respect to Camus, um, a lot of the time the, the accent color uh, can be black or gray uh, or something like this. So now, right now, this is set up as a four color design. Okay, depending on the apparel that we go with, you know, if you, if you want to communicate it, you know, hey, we're going on a white shirt, I don't want to print the white. We're going on black. Let's not print the black. Okay. This is a three color design. Okay. Now, if I take this gray and I turn it like this, this could actually be a two color design. Okay. So let's go make another design. Okay. Now, I, yeah, like I said, I really am just trying to show you how easy it is to use the design studio to create good quality designs and the reason why it's so easy is because these are already laid out um, these are already laid out in really balanced ways okay so the reason why I selected this one is because I already know that I want to use the full body Joe papermaker okay and the see when I'm trying to move this up with um, with the mouse I wander around some and then I have to click here and make sure that it's centered. Okay, that's why I use the keyboard or keypad a lot of the time. You know, use my arrow key and move it around. Okay, so let's zoom in. So I knew that I want I know that I want to swap this this guy out with Joe Papermaker uh, full body. Okay. So let's come down here. And we're going to go grab Joe full body. Okay. Put Joe up here. Like so. All right. And then we're going to come down here and get rid of the old logo that's in here. We're going to turn this to Camus. Now, this is in a Gothic font, which may have worked better with a Knights font. Um, there's a there's 150 different fonts down in here, and a lot of the stuff that I like to deal with uh, is depending on on what I'm doing. You know, the the whole purpose of fonts is to develop a feel, right? So in this case here, I'm doing a sports one, so collegiate is uh, much more likely to have the feel that I want like that, right? Now, I'm going to make sure that it's centered. Um, it Honestly, it always is, but I tend to be just a little bit paranoid about the way that I uh, do my designs because every once in a while, if you're not paying attention, something will come out of center. Okay. And we're going to come down here and turn this to paper makers and before I get to modifying this stuff too much I'm going to come back down to collegiate and I believe that I went with 11 <clears throat> okay so I'll make this just a little shorter because it skews it when uh, uh, when you're when you're designing it and you're laying it out it'll generally uh, default to the width um, it'll constrain it to the width and, uh, well, and the height. It'll jam it into whatever shape it was previously. So, okay, so 
again, I've got, it's telling me I've got too many colors. That's fine. Let's go ahead and convert this over to this red. Um, we're going to take this yellow and <clears throat> I want to turn the yellow into uh, this dark gray. I want to take this blue and turn this into black. Whoops. Let's undo that because that was, uh, uh, let's change this into a lighter gray. Okay. So this has an outline on it that, well, maybe it's just my eyes. Looks like it has an outline on it. Okay, so right now I've got five colors. And I'm pretty sure that I can um, that I can goof around with this a little bit, experiment, and and find a way to get uh, to get this consolidated. I can go like that. Uh, you see these little like bars around here? Those are not going to print. Uh, you're not going to have little hairlines running around there. Okay, so right now this is at four colors. If you're printing on white, this is a three color print. If you're printing on black, it's a three color print. Okay, so uh, frequently we will turn one of these, um, uh, one of the the colors into a. See, I did see an outline on there. Okay, I must have just not been paying attention when I, when I went over there. So. Anyway, that is that is how that lays out, and I tend to like to put mascots kind of stepping on everything. Um, so there's a good design. Let's come over here and let's make one more. Okay, so we're going to come over here and let's go with a college reunion. Okay, now this one here. Um, I, I go with, um, I want something with a shield in it. So the reason why I want something with a shield in it is because Camus has a shield logo, uh, a shield piece of artwork. And so what I will do when I want to use that is I can either use something that already has a shield, I can use something that has laurels, like this one here. Okay, so zoom back out, select all, move this up where I want it to be. Okay, make sure I'm centered. And then zoom in. And we're going to add some clip art. Come down here to this. And then we're going to come down to the, the, uh, the shield. Okay. And then... When I've got it set at about where I want it to be, I'm going to make sure that I snap to center. And then I'm going to come through and I'm going to take this R and get rid of it. So it looks like it must be the laurels that are off center. So I'm going to select the laurels, hit snap to center. Now everything's lined up. Okay. So I'm actually just going to, uh, instead of uh, instead of trying to come up with brand new design. I'm just going to modify this one here and make this a senior class design, right? Okay. So now I'm going to take everything that's this reddish color and turn it into scarlet. Everything that's blue, I'm going to turn into black. And I'm a fan. Okay? So, just a handful of real quick designs that were pretty darn easy to make and turn out and make nice. Right? So, we actually know the camas colors. So, if you don't, you know, hit this right, we're not going to... Um, uh, if, if you were to come through and select, you know, some weird color, uh, we're not going to print the weird color without first checking with you and verifying that, uh, uh, that you want it in that, in that color. That's not, if you, you know, if your monitor is looking weird and you, it, magenta looks more red than, uh, uh, than the, than the scarlet color, then, 
uh, I'm going to, we're going to contact you and say, hey, it looks like you went with a magenta instead of scarlet. Are you wanting it to look that way? Is that on purpose? Um, you know, we'll, we'll 